Hello again, and welcome to the third part in our Commit Activity Browser demo series. In this demo, we are going to focus on how the feature, which we call the CAB for short, is able to be used to help developers grow their skills a little bit with each passing day. And of all the videos that we've made on the Commit Activity Browser so far, I'm especially excited about this one because it will show you how our own real world dev team relies upon CAB on a daily basis. So let's talk examples. The first way that we use CAB daily is to check out significant changes underway across the 10 plus tickets that might be active at any given time in our repos. We believe that more eyes on code leads to higher code quality while reducing the likelihood that duplicate systems are going to be created. But you might reasonably wonder, why not just use pull requests to review code? And of course, we acknowledge that pull requests today are the dominant way to solicit feedback, but they come with more than a few shortcomings that developers must learn to tolerate. The first is that it's so easy and so natural to end up with a PR that takes two or three weeks by the time it's submitted for review. By that time, the glue that holds the code together has already begun to set. Certain types of suggestions will just be difficult to accommodate. Catching a problem or opportunity earlier in the feature development process will save time for both the developer and the reviewer. Perhaps a better way to frame the benefits of ongoing code review is to compare it to pair programming. Both pair programming and code review are undertaken with the goal of ensuring that shared knowledge propagates between team members, and in particular, that implicit knowledge about conventions is spread even if the documentation for it is starting to get out of date. When developers make a habit out of browsing the cab daily, they can approximate most of the benefits of pair programming, but at a much, much lower time cost per developer. Especially if you're a senior developer, every minute you're not coding comes at a high cost. And that's why the, this colors menu that we offer at the lower right corner of the cab gives you so many options to pinpoint which work promises the best ROI for your limited review time. Whether you want to keep tuned into the work of a particular ticket or a particular branch, or whether there's a certain category of code that's important to you, the CAB will help you rapidly locate applicable commits among the teams and repos in which you participate. The second reason our team uses CAB daily is to reduce the number of lines that we need to review per commit by 30 to 50% relative to any other Git diff viewer that's on the market today. This illustration shows how our v4 code processing engine recognizes several more types of changes than a conventional diff viewer, which will only be able to consider any changed line of code a binary deletion or addition. With Git clear, between moved code, find and replace code, language keywords, white space changes, and about 50 other factors, we're equipped to save developer attention from getting mired in inconsequential changes. I think all developers have had the experience at some point where they spend 10 or 20 minutes reviewing and commenting on some new method that was added during a PR, only to later discover that the method had been cut from some other file where it had already been proven to work for months or years. In GitClear's diff viewer, that type of change would be labeled moved code and would be visually de-emphasized relative to the true additions, deletions, and updates within the code being reviewed. Perhaps even more time saving than recognizing all these different code operations, maybe the work that commit groups do to hide entire sections of code when they are superseded by the time that they're viewed. We'll leave a link in the video comments where you can download our line impact visual overview and that depicts visually how commit groups reduce the number of lines that need to be reviewed per day. The third benefit from using the commit activity browser as a developer is that it lets you review code on your schedule. Even if you're just reviewing code for a minute or two per session between waiting for something to compile, GitClear will ensure that you don't end up reviewing the same code twice. One way we help you incrementally review novel commits is by visually darkening the commits that you've already reviewed. You can see all these darker circles on the graph. These are commits that I earlier opened up, scrolled through, and now I know that I don't need to revisit these. That's useful information to have available at a glance, but even more granular than that, within a commit or a commit group, you can see that as you scroll through the files, that GitClear remembers which version of the file you last viewed. So if the file continues to change, you'll only be shown work that happened after your previous review. Or if the file doesn't change and you reopen the commit or the commit group, the diff viewer will use that partial review from earlier to let you pick up right where you left off when you get back to reviewing that commit. The fourth benefit of CAB is a commenting system that's built to accommodate the growing number of asynchronous teams working across disparate time zones. 
By default, when you leave a comment on GitClear, we will group together all of your commit comments and reactions into batches. Those batches are collected and eventually delivered to the recipient in a single email, which gets sent about an hour after your last comment. Of course, there's a checkbox that you can use if you want to deliver a code comment immediately, but most often we find that it's best to respect the sanctity of the developer's inbox, which means minimizing the number of code review emails that get sent. In fact, this particular topic matters so much to us that we don't just batch and send all comments one hour after they're sent. Before sending comments, we evaluate the time zone of the recipient. Our assumption is that most code reviewers don't want to impart to the code reviewee that their feedback is so essential and urgent that it needs to be handled outside of normal business hours. So by default, when you leave a code comment or a reaction after 6 p.m. in the committer's time zone, we will hold all such comments and send them as one batch the next morning at 8 a.m. in the committer's time zone. A nice side benefit of this policy is that the code reviewers can work at any time of day or night and still blend in perfectly with their teammates since their comments will be delivered in one batch at a respectable hour relative to the comment receiver. We also include two rows of code reactions at the top of the Commit Activity Browser that are dedicated to celebrating teammates' work and to actually offering positive feedback about commits, which is surprisingly unconventional in the current state of pull requests. but. Just think how great it would feel to have one of your teammates come in and mark one of your commits as their favorite change of the month. In GitClear, that happens, and developers do like it, and it increases the camaraderie across a team. The final way that our team uses Canab is to self-audit the code that we wrote that day. So since you're still here, I'm gonna make you look at the code that I wrote today. Sorry, but I feel like you kind of got yourself into this. Uh, but seriously, why bother to review one's own recently authored work? I think there must be some part of the brain that is wired to respond to seeing visual progress. Maybe it's like raking leaves where being able to see the before and after state of the yard lets you briefly bask in the afterglow of visual improvement. I don't know exactly how it works, but I know it's fun and really satisfying to visit this graph after a long day of programming. I doubt everyone is wired with the achiever instinct to need to see visual progress every day, but for those who recognize this streak in themselves, I think your personality type will connect strongly to the visual proof that can show how much you're moving the needle, even when nobody else is paying attention or necessarily cares. Um, and of course, it's also fun to actually go in and read the code uh, that you've written to find further improvements to it. But I'm not going to subject you to that degree of esoteric reading the specific code I wrote today. So that does it for this video. If you're a developer, we would love to hear how you use the Commit Activity Browser, and we would be especially curious to learn if there are others out there who often use the Commit Activity Browser for self-reviewing code to just audit for quality and to lend supplementary excitement at the end of a long day when you feel like you haven't had much visible output. Let us know what you find, and we'll catch you at the next demo.